Hi, my name's Amanda from Group 4, and I'm here to explain our project on file compression with Huffman coding. Huffman coding first came about in the 1950s. It involves working with a special binary tree called the Huffman tree from the bottom up. Our program consists of the main C file, the tree file, and the tree header. The first one I'd like to go over is main.cpp. It's mostly for file manipulation, as you can see. Um, this gathers the data from the input file. Um, there is some for display, too. It displays the letter with the frequency, as well as the queue. The next file is the binary file, where it converts the, um, the text file, the original file, into binary using the Huffman tree that is created behind the scenes in tree.cpp. And then the last file is the compression file, um, compress.txt which reads each line, um, converts it into a new hexadecimal character, inserts zero if needed, and then resets the string counter. So basically turns all those ones and zeros into um, smaller characters so that the file is smaller. And then at the end, obviously, it closes all the files. The next thing I would like to go over is the tree header file. Um, this one basically just works with object such as no declaration. It has some public variable declarations, um, function declarations, it has constructors, destructors, and basically anything else that's going to be used in any of the functions that you um, include the tree header with. Lastly, and probably most importantly, is tree.cpp. Um, this one is big because it has the actual code for the constructor and the destructor. Um, there is just the regular destruct or constructor and then a constructor when a priority queue is passed to it. The deconstructor deletes the tree. There is a void function for generating the tree. Um, and then a binary tree as well, and then deleting the tree at the very end. Um, and all this code all works together to um, read the file, build the tree, convert the text to binary, and then convert the binary to a compressed form.